But at Wolves, Mick McCarthy's side will need penalties if they're to get past Swindon and become the ninth Premier League side uh, through to the next round. Danny Wilson and Swindon could take inspiration from Rotherham, who beat Wolves on penalties uh, last round, last season in this uh, very round. Penalties uh, at Molyneux. We'll go to Johnny Phillips very shortly in Penalties. Indeed. What's happening at Molyneux? Wolves against Swindon. Johnny Phillips. Well, Wolves took the first penalty of this penalty shootout down at the South Bank end of the ground. It's currently 3-3 in the shootout. All the penalties have been fantastically put away. For Wolves, we've had Andrew Sermon, David Jones and David Edwards. For Swindon, Callum Kennedy, Mark Marshall and Craig Easton. Here comes Andy Keogh with the next penalty, drilled straight down the middle. David Lucas diving the way out of that one. So it's currently 4-3 to Wolves, although they have taken one penalty more, Ed. Johnny, back to you if anything happens there. The most of these penalties at Molyneux. Johnny Phillips. Yeah, it's now 4-4. Lloyd Macklin equalising for Swindon Town. Here comes Sam Vokes with penalty number five. Sends David Lucas the wrong way. So it's now 5-4 to Wolves. And it means the next Swindon Town penalty taker must score. Marcus Hanneman is in goal. And it's going to be David Lucas, the Swindon keeper. But he's got nowhere near any of the penalties so far in terms of the Wolves uh, strikers. Let's see what he does with this one. Oh, he's drilled that one in great effort. So it's now 5-5 in the shootout. We're going to have sudden death here. Sudden death there. Wolves still a chance uh, that they could lose on penalties for a second successive Ooh, season. Sixth so penalty, and I can tell you, Swindon have missed their sixth. Heartbreak for Swindon. It's Wolves that go through 100% on the night. Gordon Greer there missing the vital kick. He hit the post. Getting consolation from his teammates. Swindon go out. Wolves go through 100% on the night for the Premier League side. All eight go through. Disappointment for Danny Wilson and Swindon. They go out 6-5 on penalties. Perfect record from Wolves. Six from six. That one miss from Swindon. And they go out of the Carling Cup. Wolves go through. Nine Premier League sides go through to the draw. Remember, you can see that draw live on Sa Soccer Saturday from midday this weekend with Jeff Stelling and the team to try and join us uh, for that. Wolves go through. It's the home fans celebrating at Molyneux. Did a penalty shootout to beat League One side Swindon and Molyneux. The game finished goalless after 120 minutes and Wolves won 6-5 on penalties. Summer signing Kevin Doyle made his competitive debut for Wolves and he almost opened the scoring early on. Nathaniel Mendes-Lang was also making his first Wolves start but David Lucas denied him a debut goal. The visitors thought they'd taken the latest before half-time. Online Bolton striker Tepe Obadei hit the post. But he painted tapped in, but it was ruled out for offside. Wolves could have won it late on in normal time, but Andy Keogh's shot went over the bar. Went to penalties after nine perfect kicks. The Swindon keeper, David Lucas, made it 5 all. Gordon Greer, it was, who missed Swindon's sixth penalty, and that meant that it was Mick McCarthy's side through to round three. Carlisle tonight, and they will go through to the third round of the Carling Cup to join teams like Sunderland, like Portsmouth uh, and Blackburn, and of course Wolves, who went through last night in the most dramatic of fashions, and fortunately Swindon were their victims. While the game's reputation was being trashed in London, how's this for a contrast? Wolves fans showing respect for the opposition, asking for Swindon manager Danny Wilson's autograph. Some of the players on show for the Premier League side are on the fringes of the first team, but it was Swindon who looked like causing a cup upset in the first half. Topi Obadei's raw speed and shot seemed perfect, but hit the post. Billy Painter was judged offside when he struck from the rebound, his wry smile said it all. With no goals in normal time, it was sudden death and penalties. Like a shootout school, everyone scored, including Swindon's keeper David Lucas. But at 6-5 to Wolves, up stepped Gordon Greer. A good effort from the captain. He hit the post, though. Swindon out of the cup. 
The second string Wolves side needed penalties to see off Swindon. This was a moment enjoyed by the fans as the referee handled the ball, but oddly didn't book himself. He and his assistant had a bigger role to play just before half-time when Swindon thought they'd taken the lead. Temi Obadei turned the ball against the post, and when it came out to Billy Painter, he finished off the move, only to be ruled offside. No goals were scored in normal or extra time, so it went to the shootout. Wolves scored six of their spot kicks in succession, and it was left to Swindon captain Gordon Greer to strike the post again to put Wolves through. Wolves suffered a League Cup defeat at Molyneux the last time they met Swindon eight years ago. And the new Premier League side had their work cut out to deny Danny Wilson's Robins again. But before kick-off, all thoughts were of former Wolves player Bobby Thompson. He passed away during the week, age 65. On the pitch, it was the top division side who were threatening most. Nathaniel Mendes Lang on his debut for Swindon keeper David Lucas into action. There was a shock though for the home side towards the end of the first half. Temi Tope over Dei opened Wolves up. But Billy Painter was offside for the rebound. Mick McCarthy named a completely new starting eleven from the one that lost to Manchester City at the weekend. And they were put under pressure by League One Swindon. Substitute Mark Marshall hit the post. But the two sides couldn't be separated over 90 or 120 minutes, so it was all down to penalties. Swindon keeper Lucas made it 5 all. Before Neil Collins put Wolves ahead in the first sudden death kick. Gordon Greer took responsibility for Swindon's next one, but hit the upright. For all their endeavour, Swindon's Carling Cup dreams were over for another season. As for Wolves, they're in the third round for the first time in six years. Mick, they put those penalties away really well. What did you make of it? The penalties were fantastic, weren't they, from both sides? I thought it was going to go on and on. Didn't think it was ever going to end with the, the standard of them. We won the game, that's all we can do. They've, they've played very well and contributed to a good game. What do you think of the 120 minutes then before the pens? Uh, a lot of hard work, effort, huff and puff, not a great deal of quality, certainly not, not from us. There were chances were few and far between. Uh, I said to the players before, you know, we, we can all, all we can do is win the game because if you know you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't. So uh, we did have a well, what was it? Eleven changes from, from a different team completely. Uh, with an eye of the Premiership game on Saturday, of course, and it's difficult when they come in. It's uh, they all feel they're ready to play, but then you see them; they're not battle hard and they're not played. So they need that game because if I need any of them to play, they've got to have had some minutes on the pitch. Word on Nathaniel Mendes Lang, your first start very many a youngster. Were you impressed? Yeah, yeah, he's done really well. He did, he did, he did reasonably well in. In pre-season, a couple of games, and then he's, he's trained with the first team. Uh, the young lad James Spray was on the bench as well. Uh, both been training with us, not looked out of place. Really pleased that they're, uh, they're getting involved. Really how, game. how important overall is the Carling Cup to you? Well, I just said to the lads, we, we're, we're in the hat for the next one. Who knows who we get? That team might be playing again. Stay in it as long as we can. We've no desire to be out of the cup, you know. I'm, my heart's beating 60 to the dozen there on the side. I wanted to win the game with the penalties, uh, but we do, we do have to. Uh, I have to have an the game on Saturday. The lads were absolutely shattered after the game at Manchester City, and to play then Tuesday and Saturday again is too much of a, an ask for me.